Jones stepping in. Four for four in the first game of the doubleheader day. Grounded out, I'm sorry, struck out swinging in this first at bat today in this second game here. First pitch is sweeping curveball, breaks outside for a ball, 1-0. and And Dritzis throws to the plate, fastball inside this time, 2-0. and 7 nothing, Oklahoma here in the fifth. 2-0 delivery, swung on and chopped to third. Easy play for Harris on the first hop, throws over to first. And McLeek Jones is retired. Number 22. Chance Guthbis. Chance Guthbis now batting. He's got the only hit, the only base runner for the Roadrunners in this game with a double to center field in the second inning. Was stranded at second. Guthbis was the starting pitcher in the first game of this doubleheader. He allowed five runs but did not get a decision. Was trailing five to one when he left the game, but the Roadrunners came back and took a 6-5 lead before the Sooners rallied for a 10 to seven victory. First pitch is a ball to Gus Smith, one and Next pitch, swung on and missed. Gus Smith has been here all four years, Desert Christian High School out of Lancaster. One of the several players that the Roadrunners have pulled out of the Antelope Valley over the years. One and one count here, swung on and Dribbled foul up the third baseline. So far, you got Malik Jones in that area. You got Metz, you know, David Metzger's from Lancaster and Gusbus from Lancaster. So you've got, uh, you know, quite a few. Next pitch is a little bit high for ball three. Ball two, I'm sorry, two and two. Couple players uh, out of that area have been drafted and playing professionally now. Gusbeth fouls away, it's still two and two. That was, of course, Miles Jones, Malik's brother, with the Rocky organization, and Tyler Shryock, uh, also a shortstop. He's also out of that area. Signed professionally two years ago. Two two delivery, swung on and fouled back. Fitch was outside. Off the end of the bat there as Gusbus stays alive. Two and two, one out here in the fifth, seven nothing, Oklahoma. Sergio Robles, right fielder is on deck. And Dritzis is working quickly. The pitch has popped up, might blow out of play with the wind blowing a little bit, and it does. Catcher Renee Martinez along with the first baseman O'Brien came over, but the ball drifted and went out of play. Count remains two and two. Guthbis stays alive, a little ball pop-ups here will usually be pushed foul out, out of play if it's along the right side because of the wind has a tendency to blow that way. It's not a very brisk breeze right now, but it's enough that'll carry it. Next pitch is strike three called on the outside corner. Strikeout number two right, for Chris Andritzis. Sergio Robles. Sergio Robles now bats. He grounded a short in the second inning in his first plate appearance. Andritzis is in a rhythm right now. He's retired five, eight. He's retired the last nine batters in a row. He's only given up one base runner so far, so. First pitch is outside and low for a ball, one and oh. Been very sharp, Andritzos. Next delivery, swung on and grounded foul on the third baseline. One and one to count. Sun's starting to sink a little bit. It doesn't, not quite as an intense sunshine now, so, but it's a lot of sunburn already today. Next pitch, a curveball, nice pitch. Strike two called. One ball and two strikes as Andritzos is in a rhythm. Fifth inning here, there's the next delivery. Close pitch, fastball down, a little bit below the knees. Two and two count. Oklahoma leading the runners, seven nothing here. Nine to one, the Sooners are out hitting Bakersfield. There's the next delivery. Outside, a little low, three and two. Not many three, two counts today for Andritzos. He's been very, very steady. Ro 
Robles trying to get on base. Here's the next pitch, swung on, line drive, base hit. Over the leaping second baseman, Flansburg. Robles gets the second Bakersfield hit of the, of the game, a single to right. 3-2 pitch, I'm sure Andritzos didn't want to walk him, just kind of laid it in there and Robles went right with it and just hit a line drive over the leaping Flansburg at second. Landberg's 5'11". I think he was 6'1 or 2. He might have flagged that one down. First pitch to Drew Seelman, the Bakersfield center fielder, is taken outside for a ball. Here's the next delivery. Swung on and fouled away to the right. Well, bounces into the grassy field along the behind the stadium on the right side. A young man is gonna go try to get that. He can tra trade it in for something at the snack bar, but good luck in finding it in all the weeds. Free McDonald's ice cream cone. Free McDonald's ice cream cone. Okay, maybe it's worth looking for it. <laughs> Next pitch, check swing. Umpire rules he went too far and it's a strike. One ball and two strike. Warm day, a kid with ice cream. I can't imagine why he wouldn't want that. I want one. <laughs> you can get one on the way home. Chris can get one on the way home. You guys have plenty of money to do that. <laughs> Everybody shakes their head no. What, you must work for a newspaper or something. Well, the guy we work for isn't even here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, our <laughs> boss, Louis Amistoy, left about the fourth <laughs> inning of the first game. Here's a cumber up the middle. Noisy has it behind second, throws, and gets him. Drew Simmons thought he beat it, but um, doesn't get the call. He fixed his helmet off, and he's... Doesn't want to slam it down on the ground and get kicked out of the game. But um, bottom line, it goes as a 6-3 put out. Roadrunner Strand Robles on base. We've played five full innings now with the Sooner 